Today we're going to be talking about Kent's route. And if I'm being honest, there's not a lot of what the fuck moments in his route, but he's my favorite. So we're going to talk about him anyway. Once again, you wake up with amnesia and Orion, who is stuck in your head. And this time around, there is seemingly no reason why you lost your memories. But you don't have a lot of time to question things because you get a message from somebody on your phone. It's from a gentleman named Kent. He wants to meet you at the cafe. With a quick search of your phone, you realize that Kent may be your boyfriend, but you're not 100% sure. You decide to keep your amnesia a secret and you go to the cafe and meet Kent. Kent is a tall brainy boy who talks like Egon from the Ghostbusters. And right away, he notices that your attitude has changed. Because apparently you were mad at him yesterday. Which points out that he is your boyfriend. But then as you're leaving the cafe, he asks you a math problem and you find out that he's also your tutor. But you know, you're the same age, so it's fine. He then proceeds to walk you home in absolute fucking silence. When you question it, he says, hey, that was a date, by the way. Why, yes, this relationship is a dumpster fire. And this boy is just too science to understand relationships. Anywho, the next day you realize you have a job you have to get back to soon. <laughs> but luckily for you, it's at the same cafe you were at yesterday. So you go to grab a manual so you have time to prepare. Lucky for you, you were a new employee, so the manager does not find this suspicious. You end up at Kent's house and you study in absolute fucking silence, which he finds suspicious. But then the next day you go to the university to visit him and you're too chatty, and he also finds this suspicious. He's used to you complaining a lot. So, you know, he didn't really want to question it. But he also admits that he kind of doesn't know the difference between the discussion and a conversation. You soon learn that Kent is preparing to study abroad soon. Just as you're ready to process this, a co-worker of yours decides she's your love rival because she also likes the tall, quiet boys. Learning this triggers a memory that Kent was your math tutor along with Mine and your co-worker Sawa. Surprisingly, Kent finds this amusing. Girls are fighting over me. But don't worry, he's just totally into you. You see, our tall, handsome tin man has started to grow a heart. He holds your hand for the first time. He admits that he likes human contact. That before, he was just kind of going through the motions of a relationship, but now he wants to try harder. He shows up at your work with a half-month anniversary cake, which makes Mine absolutely fucking furious. You do not give a shit because you go to the fireworks festival with him and have the time of your life, bitch. When you get back, Minet asks how your date went very suspiciously. You see, she tried to sabotage your date, trying to keep Kent at the cafe a little longer than usual. Wait, what? Oh, turns out she was actually talking about how she liked the manager. This game has two quiet tall boys. So it turns out she's not your love rival. Kent tells you that if it wasn't for Minet, you never would have met. This was her idea to make him your tutor. Now that everybody's friends again, you decide to have a pool party. Nothing makes a young couple bond more than bikinis. Of course, it does not take much more time before Kent realizes that you have your amnesia. He's sad that you might remember why you hated him. But there's not a lot of time to process this because he is still preparing to give his speech to decide whether or not he gets to go abroad. When you leave to go get his notes for him, you get hit by a fucking car. That's when it all comes back. Turns out right before you lost your memories, your dog got hit by a car. When Kent shows up at the hospital to see you, he admits that he was a giant butthole to you when your dog died. Seeing you lay in a hospital bed makes him realize how insensitive he was. That's why you're mad at him. That trauma is probably why you had your amnesia. I don't know, they don't explain. Either way, Kent feels really guilty about it. You two are now so much in love that he proposes the idea that he will propose in the future. Stay tuned for part four.